Hello, good morning and welcome to another Friday Spiritual Lecture. Sorry I couldn't be with you last week but I am back and following on from the Monday motto we are this week talking about I am the guardian of my own future. So let's uh, dive into this topic. First say we all try to build a future. You know, we have dreams and desires things that we long to do, people we long to become even. And our future is precious. Every moment of it is, every moment we are alive is precious. And quite rightly, we need to protect it from others who may not share our vision of the world or of our world indeed. And, you know, it's okay that not everyone shares it. We each have our own path. Like for instance, when I began to work in you know, the business of energy. There were loads of people who would, you know, think that my dream was crazy of wanting to work for myself or to work with energy to help others. They thought it was crazy or wrong. My vision, it didn't suit them. But for me, there was never any doubt. I always knew that this was where I was going to go. So what was important was that I defended my dreams that I consistently stood up for what it was that my heart and my soul knew that I had to do. And so I kept pushing forward. It's vital, it is so vital if we're going to build these dreams to really hold them dear, to keep them close to us. Not secret, just close in our heart. Why? Because a lot of people love to get involved. They love to get involved in our lives and our choices. And they have opinions and feelings about which way our life should go. Even about who we should date, what we should eat. It's amazing. And generally, you know, it's fine people giving opinions, but at some point it begins to interfere in our dreams. Because we begin to alter what it is that we want in order to make it easier for someone else. And, you know, in some way, other people's energy always affects us, always. So we do really want to stand up for what it is that we want. So keeping our desires secret? No, we don't have to. But being selective in who we tell, that is important. You know, the best supporter that we have in life is simply someone who supports us. Someone who would always, without bias, without prejudice, support us for what it is that we want to do without having an opinion on where we're going or what they think might be a mistake for our lives. Then we can use their empowering energy and help build this dream. So just as we protect our homes, our families, we also need to protect our dreams from these unwanted and negative energies. You know, we look back at some of the most incredible moments in history. And we can see that it was when the collective came together with, uh, with one dream that this happened because they all supported each other. And so walls came tumbling down, families reunited, peace. This is what happens when the collective come together with the same dream. And it is so important for us to believe in our dreams. If you come through a schooling system like mine, you'll know that to have a dream that is, should we say, less acceptable than others, <laughs> puts us into a very difficult position. You know, I certainly didn't want to go to university. I didn't want to go into an office. And because the teachers, the schooling system, didn't know what to do with me, they didn't help me to discover who I was or what I wanted. I had to build this for myself. I had to defend what I felt, even when others laughed, even when I was told, oh, you'll never be a success, this will never happen. It was really so important for me to guard that dream. You know, so it's very difficult when we are made to feel full of self-doubt that we don't have the capabilities to go on and build what it is that we want. And so it's a challenge to really find that self-belief. But we have to find it if we're going to break free from the rules, from the negative beliefs of this world and that others carry. It's so easy for us to absorb it, to become that sponge. It's 
time for us to see our desires as important as anybody else's. Because there is no hierarchy in dreams or goals. There is no one dream that is better than somebody else. Each person, each of us must live according to our life and our soul path. The dream that you carry may seem silly or irrelevant to somebody else, but it doesn't actually matter. Because each time we find our self-belief, each time we begin to build our dream, we are actually contributing massively to a rise in vibration across the entire world. Because it is when we are happy and we are fulfilled and peaceful within ourselves. We help everyone else, we inspire them. So don't let other people just dismiss your dreams. They are your heart and your soul. And there are sadly so many who would knock down our dreams through jealousy, through their own self-hatred, through fear. And it's very difficult to continue to stand up for ourselves when we are confronted by nothing but this negativity. But we can do it. When you know that dream, when it really exists inside of you, you can stand up against anything. You know, so embrace your dreams. Guard them. Put them at the centre of your life. But without stress, without fighting, the only energy that we need in order to, to bring those dreams in is love. Love is more powerful than anything. And when we hold our dreams in love, then we can defend them against anyone else's negativity. Remember that dreams are not just wish fulfilment or greed. You know, when someone has a dream, it's very easy for someone else to say, oh, that's just greedy. No, if you feel it within your heart, if you know that it is your soul path, then it is right for you and you must follow it. They are a part of your experience on this earth, a part of your learning process, of your soul growth. And you must step forward. So my real message is don't give up on your path. Don't give up on your dream. Other people will love to bring you down, to make you feel useless, hopeless. But when that fire really burns inside of you, keep it alive, keep feeding it and bring into your life only those people who will continue to feed your fire. And then your dreams will come true. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. The universe believes in you. Call it in. So please follow the path that is right for you and guard those dreams. They are as precious as your heart for they are a representation of all that you are. So I hope that helps. And uh, I look forward to welcoming you again to another Friday Spiritual Lecture. So thank you for having been with me. Oh, and I wish you a great day and a wonderful weekend too. It's wonderful to have you here. Bless you. Light blessings. Bye bye.